Hey guys, Lonnie here. And if you're like me and you like to layer sounds in your production, um, especially drum sounds, then there's something you may not be aware of that you really should be aware of. And that is a natural audio phenomenon called phase cancellation. Sounds pretty serious, right? Well, it can be. What is phase cancellation? Well, to sum it up simply, it's when one sound cancels out all or some of the frequencies of another sound that may be occupying some of the same frequency range. So here is an image. Uh, if you don't know what this image is, it is a waveform, two waveforms actually, that has been zoomed in so that you can see all of the high points, the peaks, and the low points called the troughs. Now, maybe you've heard the expression in phase before, which means all systems go, everything's great, the sound is, you know, at full speed, and that is when all of those peaks and all of those troughs are lined up. So both are high and when both are low. Where the problem starts to occur is when these peaks and troughs fall out of alignment. And the worst case scenario is like in this image, which is total phase cancellation, is when the peaks in one occur when it is a trough in the other, and the sound will actually cancel each other out, which I'll show you. Okay, so here we are in Pro Tools, and I'm using Pro Tools for this demonstration because it's easy for me to zoom in and show you the waveform and let you hear it. So as you can see, we have a kick track here. Let's hear it. Solid kick. Let's duplicate this track. So now we have an exact copy. Now on the bottom track, let's go into Audio Suite. Grab a one band EQ. We'll click on this phase button, which is like a circle with a line through it. Maybe you've seen that on other EQs. And we'll click that and we'll render it. And now we've sent this bottom kick track 180 degrees out of phase from the top, top kick track. So let's hear what that sounds like by itself. Pretty similar. Now let's hear them both together. As you can hear, that sounds like absolutely nothing because they are completely and totally out of phase and they have canceled each other out. Now, this might be a rare example, but if we zoom in and look, you can see just like that earlier picture I showed you where we have one peaking, the other is troughing, where one is troughing, the other is peaking, and that is total phase cancellation right into silence, which might be rare, like I said, but here's something that's more common. Let's just shift one. Not completely out of phase, but shifted. Let's hear what that sounds like. By itself. Slightly out of phase. You can hear it's thinner. It's distorted. It's not a true representation of itself. So that is this extreme example. Let's get rid of that track. Now we'll unmute this. This is a second kick that I layered these two together. So the first kick you heard, it's a decent kick. I like it because it has lots of snap on the high end. Now I layered it with this kick because it has good bottom punch right in the chest. So what I would do, let's layer these together. Even though they're in the same frequency range, they're not exactly the same frequency, vibrating at slightly different rates. So you can see they line up for a bit, and then they drift apart, and then they drift back together. But we're lucky in this case. It doesn't sound too bad. But what we might do is with our EQ, just with a, with a high-pass filter, I would roll off the bottom of that kick that I chose for the snap so that the bottom kick can have that whole frequency range to itself. Now let's hear what this sounds like together. Much better, we have that snap that I like from that first kick and the bottom from the second kick with very little phase cancellation. 
So we just heard and saw how phase cancellation can affect in varying degrees something like a kick drum. But the truth is phase cancellation can affect any sound in any frequency range. It just so happens in the lower frequency range with the bassy stuff, that's where we tend to really notice it the most. So when you're layering your sounds, especially similar sounds or drum sounds, just remember to check for conflicting frequencies and watch out for phase cancellation, especially in those lower frequencies. Hopefully, we can all train our ears to just be a little better at recognizing this out of phase sound so that we can fix these problems before they cause us major mixing headaches. Now, if you like this video and found it helpful, do me a solid, give it a thumbs up, and click subscribe so that we can meet again in the next video. Thanks for watching.